Add halved or quartered red potatoes to the water and bring to a boil over high heat. Cover the pot with a lid set slightly ajar. Cook the potatoes for 20 to 30 minutes or until they are fork tender. Make good use of your time by cooking the kale while the potatoes are on the stovetop. Melt butter in a large skillet over medium heat. Add torn kale leaves to the butter and cook, stirring often until the kale is soft. Drain the potatoes into a colander and transfer back into the stock pot. Add the apple cider vinegar, milk, salt, and pepper to the potatoes and smash to your desired consistency. the cooked kale and season with salt and pepper. Your family and friends may raise their eyebrows skeptically when they notice that you've shaken up their Thanksgiving mashed potatoes, but we assure you that once they dig in, they will be asking you to share the recipe for salt and vinegar kale mashed potatoes. Place your potato chunks in a large pot and cover with cold water. Add a large pinch of salt and bring water to a boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to medium low, partially cover with a lid and simmer until the potatoes are fork tender. Now these potatoes are ready for whipping. Using a potato masher, coarsely mash the potatoes. Switch to a hand mixer and whip the potatoes, adding a half cup of butter, a few pieces at a time, until blended. Gradually add the softened chunks of cream cheese into the potatoes and continue to beat the potatoes. Whip in the prepared horseradish and cream last, then continue to beat with the hand mixer until the potatoes are light and fluffy. Season with salt and pepper and stir in the scallions. Finally, a finishing touch. Though you could serve this holiday side dish right now, we have a final step that will make them even more delectably memorable. Transfer the horseradish whipped potatoes to a prepared baking dish and use a spatula to create whipped potato peaks. Drizzle the potatoes with the remaining melted butter and sprinkle with sweet paprika. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes or until the potatoes are golden on top. Then get them straight to the table. Peel and dice a hefty amount of russet potatoes. Place the diced potatoes into a six-quart crock pot. Scatter cubes of butter over the potatoes, then add the chicken broth. Put the lid on and cook on high for four to five hours or until the potatoes are fork tender. Carefully drain the potatoes into a colander and transfer them back to the crock pot. Add the remaining butter, cream cheese, and milk. Season with salt and pepper, then mash away. Your Thanksgiving guests are going to love your crock pot million dollar mashed potatoes. Simply place peeled, diced potatoes into a large pot of water and boil for 30 to 35 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. We turn to the Pioneer Woman's creamy mashed potatoes to breathe new life into our mashed potatoes and are weak in the knees over this ridiculously good holiday side dish. Add a generous amount of butter pieces, cream cheese, and half and half to the potatoes and mash together. Though these mashed potatoes are already delicious, adding more butter heightens their creaminess and flavor. Why are mashed potatoes a popular holiday side dish that's often only made during the holiday season? We have no idea. Making mashed potatoes is an uncomplicated endeavor that yields the most satisfying of comfort food meals. Season with Lari's seasoned salt and freshly ground black pepper and mash the seasonings into the potatoes. Transfer the scrumptious mashed potatoes to a baking dish and dot them with more butter pieces. Bake the mashed potatoes until the butter melts like liquid gold. As soon as you pull these creamy mashed potatoes from the oven, garnish them with finely chopped fresh chives and serve hot. Set the Pioneer Woman's creamy mashed potatoes on the table and watch your Thanksgiving guests dig in.
First things first, break down the potatoes. Before we can mash potatoes, we need to boil them until they are ethereally tender, but just before they disintegrate into mush. Place your peeled, cubed potatoes in a pot of water over high heat and bring to a boil. Now it's time to dress your spuds. Add your favorite olive oil, Greek yogurt, and whole milk. Use a potato masher and mash the palate-pleasing ingredients into the tender potatoes until smooth. Don't forget to season for the season. You can't bring a bland mashed potatoes to the Thanksgiving or Christmas table. Salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic powder to the mash will best enhance your holiday mashed potatoes experience. The minced fresh Italian parsley garnish adds its fresh flair and bright color that make these creamy Greek yogurt mashed potatoes all the more irresistible. Place potato in celery root chunks and the creamy horseradish in a large stock pot. Add water to cover the vegetables and bring it to a boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to medium high and simmer for 25 to 30 minutes or until the potatoes in celery root are fork tender. Drain the root vegetables into a colander, reserving about one cup of the cooking water. This flavorful liquid will moisten your potato and celery root during mashing. Transfer the potatoes and celery root back to the stock pot. Now it's time to mash. Mash and mash some more. Add the sour cream, Dijon mustard, and butter to the chunks of potato and celery root. Use a potato masher to coarsely mash the vegetables. If your mash is too thick, add the reserved cooking liquid by tablespoonfuls until you get your desired consistency. Finally, season, garnish, and serve. Taste your mash and season with salt and pepper. Transfer to a serving dish and garnish with finely chopped fresh parsley. Serve your potato and celery root mash hot.